video is accurate as of April 13th, 2022. As the sixth wave of COVID-19 begins in the province, local case numbers are increasing in many of our communities. The virus, including BA2 variants, is circulating in the region, and I urge residents to stay home and isolate if you're feeling unwell. Um, due to the restrictive eligibility criteria for PCR testing, many people instead test positive on a rapid antigen test, which is not captured in our reporting. This indicates that the number of people in our region with COVID-19 is much higher than the data shows. It is likely then that when interacting in public settings, people will be exposed to the virus. The risk of this happening will go up and down as we experience waves of illness, but the risk will still be there. I strongly recommend wearing a mask when in enclosed public settings to prevent the spread of COVID-19. There are antiviral treatments now available for people with COVID-19 who are at higher risk of progressing to severe disease requiring hospitalization. To be considered for treatment, you must have tested positive for COVID-19 on a PCR or rapid antigen test, and a healthcare provider must, must assess you to determine if treatment is right for you. Treatments must be started within five days of when your symptoms began. Anyone who has recently tested positive or developed symptoms who may be eligible for treatment should call a local assessment center or their primary care provider. A link with more information about treatment options can also be found on our website. The region has also seen a small increase in hospitalizations over the past few weeks, which is something we are monitoring closely. A key focus of our current pandemic response efforts is preventing spread of the virus within high-risk settings. By protecting the most vulnerable populations, we help prevent local health care facilities from becoming overwhelmed with COVID-19 cases. I also want to highlight that there are some populations who are at higher risk of severe infection, and they may want to remain cautious and take steps to protect themselves, especially as the sixth wave begins. Staying home when you are unwell, staying up to date on your COVID-19 vaccinations, continuing to wear a mask in public settings, and limiting the number of people you come in contact with can help lower the chances of spreading the illness or getting infected. Lastly, I urge kindness as we adjust to live with the virus. Many businesses and agencies, including healthcare settings, are experiencing staffing shortages. This means many essential workers are putting in overtime and extra shifts because their coworkers are ill. Showing compassion, patience, and kindness can go a long way during these challenging times. For more information about COVID-19, including vaccinations, treatment, and isolation advice, please visit www.nwhu.on.ca slash COVID-19. Happy Easter. Please be safe this long weekend.